plank with the twist. Come on all fours with the hands underneath your shoulders. And then from here, push the floor away so you feel that nice lift through the spine. Slide one foot to the back, then the other foot to the, to the back. Push the floor away from you. Bring your right foot in front of that left foot and then turn your both feet sideways. So your hips are squared now towards me or away to the other side, but your shoulders are still squared towards the floor. You're going to lower your hips down a little bit and you squeeze your abs to lift them all the way up. Let's go for 12 of those. Lower, exhale to lift. And 11, last 10, last nine, Last eight, powerful exhalation. Seven and six. Exhale, five. Exhale, four and three. Two, one. And then step with your feet to the back. And then bring your left foot in front of the right foot. Bring your both feet sideways. Lower the hips 12 times and lift up. Eleven, ten, and lift. Nine, lift. Last eight, lift. Seven, lift, six, and up, five, and up, four, three, two, hop, one more, hop, and release. If this is too much for your wrists, you can always do it on your forearms as well. Good job. Double leg stretch, lay down on your back with your feet hip distance apart. And just rest your hands on the side of your body to start and try to reach with your tail all the way towards your heels and the crown of the head to the room behind you. And then feel like you're just stretching your body along the mat, stretching your spine along the mat. Now on the exhalation, pull your right leg and then left leg closer to your body. Hike the legs all the way in. Imagine that you have that lemon underneath your chin. Squeeze a lemon to curl the chin to your chest. Then you're lifting your shoulders and you're making a couple more wrinkles in your t-shirt. Use your arms to help you to stay a little bit higher up. Pull the belly away from the t-shirt as you're straightening your right leg forward all the way. Have a sensation of pulling that leg away from you and then you pull that leg all the way in. Now stretch the left leg away from you. Reach with your fingers towards your toes as well. So you're stretching your arms and stretching your leg and you're pulling all the way in and then slowly release. So if this bothers your neck, you can always relax the head down and you can do this exercise with the head all the way down. It engages the core in a great way as well. We are trying to do now with both legs in the same time. So if you find that two legs is a little bit too much and your lower back is taking over, then just come back to your single leg and just do single leg. We'll do 10 repetitions all together. So you can do 10 with the right, 10 with the left, if you're choosing to do single. So whenever you're ready, you curl up, stay strong in your body. You might have a big belt around your waist. Squeeze your feet, reach with your arms and you straighten both legs out for 10. And then hug the legs all the way in. And a nine. And really squeeze them like you want to have, squeeze all the juices from the hips. Last eight and then pull them all the way in. Last seven, and then pull them all the way in. Last six, and then squeeze them to pull. Five more, and then squeeze your legs. Last four, and squeeze them all the way in. Last three, exhale, squeeze. Last two, powerful exhalation. One more, powerful exhalation. And then relax your head all the way down. You can just rock your body side to side. Great job. This is my favorite stretch. Lay down on your back. Open up your feet as wide as the mat and allow your spine to just rest towards the mat. Allow it to go all the way down. Maybe your feet could go a little bit wider, maybe even outside of the mat if that's possible. Keep your elbows bent to the sides of the body and the elbows are in one line with the shoulder and allow your spine to just melt towards the mat, relaxing completely. Now lift your right forearm all the way up and then bring that forearm all the way down with the palm down. Simultaneously lift both arms up and then one forearm is going down, one forearm is facing up. And you'll lift up and then lower. So we just have that internal and external rotation coming from your shoulders. We're turning that upper arm all the way in and we're turning it out. Your shoulders might move, might move a little bit. Take deep breath in and deep breath out. Move slowly. 
however your body feels comfortable and try to feel those bones moving in your shoulders. It's like we want to find that feeling of those bones moving inside, rotating in both directions. And then keep both palms up towards the ceiling, pause it there for a second, relax your shoulders and then keep reaching with your both knees all the way to the right. So your left butt cheek can lift and it lifts all the way up. Almost like we're doing that hip thrust with that left hip, opening a little bit higher. Relax completely. If this feels good, your lower foot could lift and land on the top of that knee just to pull that leg a little bit deeper. If you feel like this is a little bit too much of a stretch, you can lower your foot down or if you feel like the, the foot down gives you a little bit bigger, bigger stretch, keep it down as well. So the foot on top of the knee is just optional. I find that there are days that I like to have my foot lifted and there are days that I prefer to keep it down. Now keep lifting that left butt cheek a little bit more, almost like you want to squeeze your glute to push that hip a little bit farther out and gently pull the core away from your pants. So you feel like your lower abs are gently supporting that lower back. And then slowly relax the foot down if it was lifted, lift both knees all the way up and then shift your both knees to the other side. And now we have that right butt cheek lifting off the mat, the knees reaching towards the mat, and that foot lifting off the floor is just optional. Take deep breath in and out. We'll pause for a couple seconds just to give yourself that nice stretch. Feel like you're yearning with the front of that top hip. Breathing in and powerful exhalation. Feel like with each breath, you could go just a little bit deeper into that stretch. Then relax the foot, lift the both knees up and relax your arms. Good job.